Damn, I'm hella bored, bro. I'm trying to look for a book to read. Hey, yo, you got a you got a book I can use? Yeah, here you go. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Once upon a time in an alternate universe where Cody Parkey didn't miss the field goal for the 2018 Chicago Bears, there was a man who was playing Destiny when this happened. Oh, fuck. That was close, that was close, oh my god. Oh shit! No. No. Fuck. So this mouse pad costs a whopping $120. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy it off of their website and Lethal Gaming Gear and they sent that uh the sky pad out to me, so thank you. Thank you, Lethal. Um, I'm not sure if any other vendors sell this, so yeah. And you can only get it in their 500 by 400 millimeter dimension. It is also three millimeters thick as well. So the great thing about this pad is that there's no stitching. The only time you'll feel your forearm get kind of stuck on this pad is if you get a little sweaty. Otherwise, I don't have a problem with moving my arm over this pad at all. The logo is in the glass, so basically you aren't going to feel it at all. <laughs> If you somehow could feel it, then you wouldn't swipe over it since it's in the bottom right corner of the pad, so you'll be fine. So yes, this pad is made out of glass. I get to say I have a slab of glass on my desk. It's great. Um, <laughs> so the mouse pad doesn't lay flat, unfortunately. Bro, I'm tired of mouse pads not laying flat. <laughs> The surface is very smooth, so you won't get that tickle feeling like you would with hybrid or Cordura pads. Although it's not soft like Cordura pads, so keep that in mind. So it's smooth, but not soft. Also, when it's cold, the pad will get cold too. But when I kept uh, swiping my arm over spots, it started to feel warm. So the glide properties of this pad is nuts. Uh, there's, there's no static and dynamic friction, so Daniel, I can guarantee you this mouse pad feels like a hockey puck, uh, uh, like a hockey puck on an air table. There's no perceivable difference between Tiger Ice Feet and Core Pads in terms of friction, but I do feel that the XM1R is heavier than the Super Light on the Sky Pad. So as you guys can imagine, the Sky Pad is great for tracking. I absolutely love it. Did it improve my aim at all? No, uh, not at all, but just doing the action of tracking is amazing. I just, I just love it. Using the BR and Halo Infinite ranked was a dream on this pad. Tracking just felt effortless. And in Destiny 2, playing aggressive on a Titan with a shotgun and a hand cannon just was just fun as well. Uh, I could easily do quick swipes to look around and I just felt agile overall. Close quarters combat is fun on this pad for sure. But there's something that keeps me from maining this pad. I'm still getting used to tracking on this pad, but I still love it. The thing is though, there are two two parts of aiming, tracking and flicking. And that's where the sky pad falls apart for me. It's not like I can't hit flicks at all. I can, but I hit a lot of less flicks than I normally would with something like the Venus. In my opinion, in order to be a good player, every aspect of your skills have to be good. You shouldn't sacrifice something in order to gain in another area of your skill. The sky pad made me realize that I wanna go back to PTFE feet, even on cloth pads. I want something that gives me good tracking, while also retaining some friction in order to consistently hit flicks. Yeah, when I was playing grid shot on aim lab, it was, I was just hit missing way too many flicks. I was, I had more misses than usual. So, and then when I switched to Venus, I was hitting more flicks. So yeah, it's a it, giant disappointment because I would totally main this pad. I mean, it's made of glass. Uh, but it needs to be good in track in both tracking and flicking so and unfortunately for me personally it's only good for tracking the lethal skates with the venus and mercury and the super glides with the mpc 450 and mercury feel similar if not exactly like tiger ice and core pads on the sky pad so if you want that speed combo but don't want to spend 120 dollars Go for those other options. And in the eyes of the consumer, $120 for a mouse pad is not worth it. No. No. Nah. Hell nah. Just 
No, hell not. Yeah, the Skypad is great, but it's just too fast. And I don't see a lot of people wanting to main this. Um, but if you're looking for a mouse pad that is balanced and not as fast as the Skypad at all, then click here to see my video on the Saturn mouse pad, which is a great balanced mouse pad that you have to see.